golden, shiny, and bold. The statue of President Akufuado sparks controversy, but APA Disc of Chiefs have an explanation. Let's get into that right now. I wish the statue would be removed. What has he done for us? But roundabout I suggest the roundabout should have been completed first. Oh, he still working, so there's no problem. I will lead the youth of Sekenita Krade to relocate that statue to Chebi. Tonight, public uproar over President Akufuado's statue in the Western region. The statue was erected at the Ifian Quinta runabout during the President's thank you tour of the region. Now, a section of the public have described the gesture as insensitive of the times we live in, just like you heard. The latest to join in the criticism is the NDC flag bearer, who tonight slams President Akufuado for what he describes as self-glorification. As a submission, submission, a year in social submission, submission, maybe a year in social, and then I could find Dubai, maybe I'm going to try to move submission, maybe I'm going to try to move submission, maybe I'm going to try to move submission, and then they in social, and then as you now they are also off at home. I don't know what I'm talking about in the statue of Kusi Ho. I don't know what I'm talking about. What is it? Jesus. I was saying, I'm going to give you a new brace. 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 What is it? Jesus. I'm going to give you a new brace. What is it? Jesus. I'm going to give you a new brace. Yeah, my doctor. I brought that to your man, Penyo. And how do you hear now? Call Nam Kasa. Oh, you're trying with Juma. Oh, yeah, dear say. And see, you're passing over. Never bow a basso. Never my honorary doctorate. University of Ghana. Hey, you know, we chima monsa. Mama man, doctor, 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 doctor. Nun to me, me be your order. Ko. Ezu. Eza. And see, Adina San. Bibia, Bibia, I'm back home. Bium, no mobile, ya no mobile, ya no. And so we say, my boy, na waso. And so my boy, ya airbano. A best son, ya my boy, ya ye. Na abaye abaye fufro. Na ma ye ma sasa ma boy. I didn't and send basa basa ni. Now, this is not the first statue the president has had recently. Two months ago, at the commission of the Jamestown Fishing Harbor in Accra, a bust went up for him. Well, now, with barely two months to leave office, the president isn't the only one freezing his image in time on a slab of concrete. Now, three weeks ago, the woman put in charge of Ghana's Economic and Organized Crime Office, Mami Tiwa Adodankwa, reported to her office to be pleasantly surprised by the uncanny image of herself in a lawn area now named after her, Obatampa Tiwa Gardens. But tonight, I'll tell you more about what's happening. But let's take a look at Tiwa. Congratulations, 
So that was three weeks ago, uh, you know, at her premises, Yoko, where her staff surprised her with a bust of herself. Now, let's talk about tonight. Tonight's statement comes in defense of President Ekufuato from the Upper Discov Traditional Council, which says, we all got it wrong. I'm going to bring in now Obrin Pong Himadechi, the 14th, for a quick chat on the back of that statement he signed in the last few hours of the night. And I, good evening to you. What do you say it is that everyone is getting wrong about the Golden Statue? I found it very unfortunate sometimes the way manner some communique is um, carried out. On Wednesday, but prior to Wednesday's engagement, the president's tour, um, his thank you tour for that matter, we had received letter of his invitation extended to Nananum that he will be in the region to thank us that at least when he came to us, the people of the Western region, um, to ask for our vote, the people of the Western region and Ghana as a whole actually granted him the mandate. And his tenure of office will be ending soon. So when the news actually came to us, quickly, Nanan also thought of what we could do to show appreciation to him. Because the chiefs of the Western region, we have always been lobbying the president for some developmental project in our region. And when those requests were made to him, he took it upon himself and his, in fact, he took it upon himself to initiate and execute some of those projects, as you can find in the release that I sent. Having the, actually done that, then we said to appreciate him for what he has done for the region in terms of those projects. We met and we made contributions to erect the statue in his honor. But he's been to other regions where we saw people giving. Very well. Na, 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 can you, can you understand also, why? Uh, Nana, if you can hear me, I'm asking can you understand why people are not happy about the statue and at this time? We, uh, we re erected at the Fiancanta runabout. That's why we erected. No, 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 I'm asking about whether or not you, you think that uh, perhaps the people are right to be unhappy about, you know, the, uh, the statue at this time, you know, in, in our lives. Not part of them, and I've not heard anybody complain to us about they're not happy about it. I'm unable to speak. The of the matter is that, indeed... As we, we have listed in the community, all these projects that we mentioned, we agree that some of them have not been completed, some of them. But once it has been uh, it has started, we hope and we anticipate that definitely it will, fin it, will, it, will, it will come to completion. So once he even took the initiative to even start it, we needed to show our appreciation. And it is not the first time this thing is being done. This is not the first time. We have even gone to the extent of even honoring uh, assembly members in our communities where they've all contributed to developmental projects in our region. Major roads and major streets in Western region have been named after persons, individuals who have contributed to the development of the Western region. In fact, and President Akufadu will not be the last to experience such a guest here from Nananum of the Western region. I see, and, and, and you Future say that the, the chiefs of Upper Discov uh, contributed to construct this uh, a statue. How much did it cost you? Well, if you can hear me, Nana, I, I'm asking about how much it cost you uh, to put together the statue. You mentioned uh, earlier that the chiefs put together their money uh, to do this. why we erected that statue. Are they saying that those reasons we gave are not there? They don't have, that, that's, we have the evidence to support it. If you go to a fair contact right now as, as I speak to you, the, 
regional hospitals carrying on the renovation. The uh, we see the um, Bokro, uh, yes, Bokro, Bokro um, Hospital. It's, it has been it's almost about ninety eight percent completed. If you go to Swahim, the hospital is functioning. If you go to Ground uh, Commander to Takwa Road, it's finished. The project are there to speak for themselves. The interchange is the um, market circle. So which of these projects that we are talking about, in view of which we have actually erected this statue to honor the president, are they disputing? Santa, we need to grow above this, this um, partisan way of addressing matter. It doesn't help. It doesn't actually mm. help with development. Very well. Then I was asking earlier, how much it costs you to put this statue up? No, oh, it would seem uh, Nana cannot hear us, but that's okay. Nana, we'll leave our conversation. I'm going to bring in now uh, Dr. Adam Bona, who uh, is a watcher of, uh, you know, governance issues in this country. Um, he's also a security expert. Doc, good evening to you. You, you had, uh, you know, bits and pieces of my interview with Obrimpon Himadechi, the uh, 14th of, of Upper Discov Traditional Council. Your thoughts on the statue erecting a, a tradition that seems to be cropping up? Well, good evening, Kameni. It's, it's shameful and disgraceful, uh, to say the least. I want to believe that the first university that was erected in the north, the UDS, was erected, you know, by the use of the late... Uh, President Rawlings' own money that was donated to him. But when you go onto the UDS campus, I don't think you would see any uh, statute of assault. I think he even disagreed when they wanted to name it after him. That is humbling. I think, uh, you know, you has, the one in the voter region, I think it was erected by John Dramani Mahama, His Excellency. Uh, I haven't seen a bust. And so you can talk about Nkrumah, the good old motorway, and so many, you know, uh, structures in this country that you can name after Nkrumah. You can say Nkrumah built them from the scratch, including the Akosombo Dam. Let's erect Kwame Nkrumah's uh, statute in front of uh, us who are entering Akosombo, just so we can... Uh, make Kwame Nkrumah happy in his grave. It, it's, it's needless. Mm -hmm. And you have, a, I don't know whether it's a cabinet decision, but you have, you know, some appointees of this government also erecting these things, including the one that has been disgracefully installed within the Yoko vicinity. Mm -hmm. And I would want to call it the Obatamboni Corruption Gardens. And I say so because, I mean, we all know what Iyoko is supposed to be doing, mm -hmm. and they are doing the reverse. And so to have Iyoko workers, as if to say that the facility called Iyoko belongs to them, and they are children and generation, and therefore they unilaterally could erect a bus for, you know, uh, their boss who... Uh, to them, and I believe that she might have paid for it. And mine is that no one seems, no one seems to have questioned her when she said that she didn't even know that they are doing it. That is itself a red flag. That should mm. have led the president to dismissing her. But I don't believe the president Very would well. do that. I mean, wh wh when you listen to Abrimpong, Abrimpong suggests that uh, this really had nothing to do with the president. It was a surprise for the president the uh, chiefs themselves had come together to make their contribution to put up the, the statue. Well, mine is that, uh, so we're in the season of surprises and the season of uh, Iyoko, the Obatam Boni, uh, you know, corruption gardens at Iyoko named after Mami Atiwa. So she said it was a surprise. This one to the, the chiefs and people are saying it was a surprise to the president. You see, you heard other people saying they will take it down. I am told that the one at the, you know, uh, in the Western region, 
uh, some indigents have threatened to pull it down, and the same thing, are, you know, to the Ioko one. Right. It means that we have a security situation at hand. And I'm told that the one in the Western region is under 24-hour surveillance and 24-hour security. Why should we do that to ourselves? But, but why, can't the, why can't, Doc, why can't the president be appreciated? Why can't the president, you know, have a statue of himself somewhere? Be appreciated for doing what? For well, electing him and paying him and paying his house help and buying his fuel and, uh, you know, taking care of him and making sure that he will never need anything till he dies. I mean, is that what you are saying? The, the, the infrastructure you see, did it come from his pockets? It is from the taxpayer. And so mine is that he cannot say he should be appreciated. If the people of Ghana deem it fit to appreciate any leader, even if it's a school prefect, at any given point, would you only do so? And so mine is that it is needless, self-aggrandizing, and you know, uh, to say the least, that uh, the, it, this is just a security challenge the president is leaving us whilst he was he is on his way out. Oh, in, in I, I mean, I, I, how, uh, can you explain that? How is that a security challenge he's leaving us? Do you heard someone in the Western region say, we will take this thing down? Do you know what that means? It means some people are going to drag it and break it down. And you would need the security agencies to either stop them or to look on. I have had tons of messages sent to me when the one erected disgracefully within the Iyoku uh, corruption gardens was done. Mm. And they're telling me, I mean, people sent it to me, young people, some I don't know them, saying that, they would break through the gate when the day comes to take down that one too. I are, see. We, are, are we not leaving, uh, you know, security challenge behind? Mm. Are we supposed will, to will you, this? will you then be telling people to put a stop to this practice? No, I'll tell them to put a stop to it and tell them to go through due process to bring them down. But the truth is that, I mean, uh, I won't be there. I won't be standing there. But I can only appeal that they shouldn't take the loss into their own hands because then that is not how we are supposed to behave. But why should our leaders be doing this? On, I mean, now, fortunately or unfortunately, we don't have a, what do you call that, the uh, toll booth any longer. And I don't know, excuse me to say, for those who are eating. Those days, toilets, the moment there's change of government, people run amok, they take over toll booths, they take over toilets. So what is going to happen if we are not careful, even though I won't encourage it, is that when there is change of government, these bastards are going to be taken down. Security officers, are they able to control it, even though I don't support it? And mm. so mine is that the president is on his way out. He signed out, he checked out. What he can do for us is to go humbly, instead of, you know, uh, all these things we are seeing. I think Indeed. they are needed, uh, sir. Doc, Doc, I appreciate you talking to us. Indeed, Doc, Thank I appreciate you, you talking to us. Thank you so much. Dr. Adam Bona is a security expert. He's also a, a government watcher and a commentator. We've been talking about the erection of statues of the president and another uh, official of the government. Now, I want to take the conversation back to Obrimpong uh, Himadechi the 14th. He signed that statement uh, that extricated the president from the statue that has been put up in, at the Fian Quanta runabout in the Western region. Uh, then I was asking you earlier, how much did that cost? Yes, I said um, it's around 30,000 Ghana cities. Mm, I so see. how much we contributed. I see. And, and, and all of you contributed, all, all the uh, chiefs in Upper Discov contributed to this? You know, contributed the 30,000 cities to e erect that? Well, it, look, it would appear I've lost Nana again. Perhaps we should move on to some other matters now. But, uh, Obrimpo, I appreciate you talking to us. Obrimpo Himadechi, the 14th, is uh, a member of the Upper Discov uh, Traditional Council. He signed that statement that was released in the last few hours of the evening.